Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Renobi Review. I have my skull bar fly out today because somebody stole my camo one. It's gone. I don't know where it went. Today we'll be drinking from the Driftwood Brewery in uh, Victoria, BC. We'll be drinking Crooked Coast Alt Beer, or Old Beer, which is what it basically means. Uh, alt beers were the major beer in Germany before lagering came about. Uh, it's 5.1% alcohol, Driftwood Brewery, unfiltered. Ken brought us this from his trip out west with his parents. I've got my Amsterdam glass out for this, just because it's a large glass. looking beer. It really is. I wasn't expecting that. Um, beautiful two fingers ahead. Nice and pillowy, big bubbles. A little bit off-white, kind of like a cream color. The beer itself is, is beautiful as well. Um, it's a nice amber hue, very orangish. It looks great. Scent-wise, it's a little hoppier than I was expecting. Uh, most alt beers I've had haven't been very true to the alt beer categories. Alt beers are old, so I was I I technically would expect a lot of hops in there since hops were the preservatives back then. But with the alt beers that I've had, I haven't been getting a lot of a lot of hops in them. They were more malt forward, so at the same time, my paradigm for alt beers isn't very hoppy. This has a very hoppy aroma. Um, very German hoppy aroma. Uh, Tettnanger. Uh, I probably pronounced that wrong. I don't I don't care. It's it's you know you know the German hops. It smells like the nice floral and grassy German hops that you would get in most German beers. Uh, there is a subtle maltiness to it. Nice a little bit of biscuitiness to it. It smells really good. Oh, the humidifier turned on. In all honesty, this is pretty much a slightly maltier IPA. Nice, subtle malt sensations up at the forefront. Very nice, very sweet, very subtle, little roasty. <sighs> then the hops come in. Very citrusy. Uh, almost sweet citrus at first. Fades pretty quickly from sweet citrus to a uh, a lemon zest mixed with a bitter bitter kind of vegetable taste. Um, Florals mixed in there too, but when I'm saying bitter vegetable taste, like, uh, what would be the best way to describe it? Um, not cooked quite well enough asparagus or bok choy or something like that, you know, the bitter vegetable taste that you can get. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just the way this, the, the citrus mixes with the floral taste, it kind of gives that off. I'm not saying there's bok choy or asparagus in this, there isn't, but it's just the way it the way the tastes mingle, it kind of gives you that flavoring. I mean, it's nice. It really is. I like how you get that grapefruit citrus right up front on the on the hop profile. Then that lemon zest mixed with that floral sensation, and then it kind of fades. About two or three seconds after you've taken a drink, it fades to almost nothing, and then there's just this little bitter emanation up at the back of your tongue. Truthfully, it's a good beer. It, it really is. It's just not It's not for me, per se. Um, even so, not being made for me, it's not malty enough for my personal taste, I'm still going to give it a very, very generous grade, because you know what? It is a nice beer. I love the complexity of the hops. 
I love the subtleness of the malt. I just wish the malt was a little more in your face to balance it out a little more. Uh, I would give Driftwood Crooked Coast Alt Beer. I would give this a 7 out of 10. I mean, it's a very nice drinking beer. If you're an IPA fan, you'd probably really like this. If you're not an IPA fan like myself, it's still an easy drinking beer with a very good hop presence. And it looks damn beautiful. So thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Good beer drinking to all of you. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Bye.